Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you follow us on social media, you may have seen that we've teased a few pictures of the new wrap on our RS3. Here it is. It's been designed by a guy called Skeppel in the USA, and the first time I noticed Skeppel was when Intermotive's E92 M3 came in to us for a tune. I was really impressed with the design, followed Skeppel on Instagram, uh, followed a few more of his projects, and knew that he was the right guy to design the wrap. From a distance, it does look like it's just faded red coming from the front of the car, but as you'll see later on, it is small Eventury Vs, which are basically focused around this headlight for a particular reason, which we will reveal later on, and then faded out to give the sensation of speed. The wrap itself was inspired by the Audi RS3 LMS, which is the race car. We wanted to use that as a theme, but then add our own touches to it. So the wrap is the obvious cosmetic change. What else have we done? We've also changed the wheels for the 660 design magnesium wheels in the same sizes as the stock wheels. Now, they're not strictly just a cosmetic modification because they lose six kgs per corner, which should make a huge difference to the, in terms of performance on the car, not only in acceleration, but also in braking and handling. At the rear of the car, we also have the first set of ASEX on reflector deletes, which were provided by our kind friends at IND when I was over there in Chicago. I really like these. If you've noticed, we fit these on almost all of our cars that they're available for and just gets rid of the reflector at the back and just gives the car a really neat look from the rear. So that's the cosmetics taken care of. And if you watched the video from VMAX last time, you're probably wondering, is that all they've done? Just change the look? No, this car's actually gone through a real transformation in terms of performance as well. So let's go have a look at the interesting part. This is the new Eventuri intake, the oversized one. You would have seen the prototype of this in the last VMAX video. This is the finished production model. And in the last video, we showed that at stage two, this didn't make any difference. And the reason why this is on the car now is that it's not stage two anymore. The car now has a forged engine by Motorsport Developments with a revised cylinder head, and it also features the brand new TTE 777 Turbo. So this car has transformed not only in terms of its looks, but also its performance. And we're gonna find out what it does at VMAX when we go later this week. Cosmetically, I think the RS3 looks absolutely fantastic now. Let us know what you think of the wrap in the comments section. 
What I'm really looking forward to with the new performance modifications is to see how much difference this actually makes on the road and on the track. The car is going to VMAX this weekend, so keep an eye on social media to see how we're getting on. We did a 184 last time, so we're interested to see how much faster we can go. I think the car is going to be limited by gearing, but we will find out. The other thing that I'm really interested in to find out is how far this car is on the drag strip. Now everyone knows this platform, drag strip is where it's at. So we are going to Centipod later this month to see what we can put down on the quarter mile. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you'd like to watch what YouTube suggests you might like from our other videos, you can watch that over here. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comment section and we'll do our best to answer them for you.